Warrior Fire Me, this is Jane's videos, and I'm back with another Spirit Halloween 2020 sneak peek video, and this one is on my absolute favorite crop of the year, and what may become one of my favorite props of all time. Um, I predicted this ever since we saw him in the teaser. All we saw was his cloak and his face and stuff, and his hand, yeah, I predicted he would be my favorite of the year, and uh, he is, absolutely. This is Krampus. This is the ultimate Jaden prop, um, in so many ways. Uh, as you guys know, I love demons for Halloween to begin with, so obviously any demon prop I'm gonna go crazy over, but the fact that this guy is who he is is, is outstanding to me, and I'm so mind blown about this. I have been... I think, honestly, the biggest advocate out of anyone for a Krampus prop for years. I've mentioned it countless times. I haven't shut up about it for years now. Um, but I never thought it would happen. I stopped thinking about it because I realized this is never going to become a thing. We are never going to get a Krampus animatronic, and here's my reasoning. Here was my reasoning, because now here we have it. Krampus works perfectly for Halloween. Though he is the Christmas demon, I don't associate Krampus with Christmas, really. Though that is his character, when I think of Krampus, he feels a lot more Halloween than Christmas. Because who is going to want to decorate with a giant demon for Christmas just because he's the Christmas demon? You're not going to see this at anyone's house for Christmas. I've always associated with Krampus with both Halloween and Christmas, in all honesty. But uh, I feel like for decoration purposes, and uh, really the, the only reason that I would associate Krampus with Christmas at all is because that's where his legend came from. But I feel like for decoration purposes, for everything like that, he's definitely a Halloween type character. With that out of the way, I believe Krampus works perfectly for Halloween. But, Spirit Halloween, generally, I thought, I was under the assumption that they wouldn't make a prop like this, because the general public who decorates their house, the, we're, the haunter community is about 5% of the people who buy from Spirit Halloween. The general public are people who are buying to decorate their house for Halloween. And so the general public is going to buy more classic symbols of the holiday, clowns, scarecrows, demons, uh, all sorts of stuff like that, witches, ghosts, goblins, all, all sorts of stuff like that. That's why we see so many clowns and scarecrows and ghosts and stuff like that. Um, and I love classic symbols of Halloween. Those are honestly some of my favorite props. But it really made me believe that we're never going to get a prop like this. And yet here we are in 2020, we have Krampus. It blows my mind and it really makes me realize that that whole theory of them only producing things that appeal to the general public is down the drain and uh, we can get anything from them at this point especially with how this year has been as a whole we've gotten so many unique things that i don't think anyone's ever expected i believe they were truly saving this really unique lineup for 2020 because 2020 is like a big year for them so far but with all that out of the way this is an absolutely outstanding and stellar animatronic as it is I love Krampus, the character of Krampus, um, so I would have been happy seeing a Krampus prop that's not even officially licensed, but I think seeing an officially licensed one is best, because Krampus is one of my favorite horror movies of all time. Um, I haven't watched it in a while, but when I did, it instantly became a favorite for me. I've always loved the Krampus look from the movie. I've always loved that, so I'm glad we got an officially licensed Krampus over just a uh, normal Krampus. Uh, he's so creepy in so many ways. And finally, it's possible for haunters who buy from Spirit and stuff, who buy from more low budget, because I know professional companies have been doing creepy Christmas stuff for years now. Finally, us, we're able to make a creepy Christmas-themed haunt if we want to, because we're getting some props that fit it, which is pretty awesome. So, the prop himself, he's amazing. He looks like he's ripped straight out of the movie. He's super screen accurate. Um, 
the horns look fantastic. They're so creepy. This guy looks enormous. He's 7.5 feet tall, which is bigger than most towering props. He is huge. And he looks very wide and long as well. So he's a big one. For sure. His detail is outstanding. It's phenomenal. I love how he has the chains on him. I've always loved that about Krampus. His his face looks straight out of the movie. Um, I, I do enjoy, though his eyes can't be seen too much in the movie, I do enjoy how prominent they are in the prop. Because for someone who doesn't know what Krampus is, will be like, what am I looking at? Whereas if you see two goat eyes, you're more likely to associate this with a demon. And that is what Krampus obviously is. What a fantastic animatronic, and though he is only a side-to-side -side turner, I don't care. That's a perfectly fine animation for him, for me. I don't mind side-to-side -side turner props, and uh, I think a lot of them are really good. And I feel like it's a perfectly fine animation for him in my book. But wow, just the prop himself, he just looks phenomenal. I, I can't get over it. And his audio, I haven't even gotten to his audio yet. I already have this video planned out to be a little over 10 minutes, so this is my longest sneak peek video of the year. Might be my longest sneak peek video ever, I'm not sure. Um, actually, no, my Something Terrifying is Coming video was, but whatever. On a singular prop, I'll say. Um, I just love this guy so much, and I have so much to talk about with him. The audio is brilliant. It's... Obviously, audio from the movie, but the audio they chose for it makes me super happy. I was a little scared that they'd use the uh, the theme song, or ju like just the theme song. It it's a great Krampus has a great score. The movie has great music, but I I don't really like when there's a licensed prop and they just have the theme song with it with no other audio. I liked how Sam had some giggling in there because it was more than just the song playing. Whereas this prop can actually work in a haunt. If you want to do a creepy Christmas haunt or something, because he doesn't just play a song, he literally just has audio from Krampus. Now, there is a bit of music in the background, which I actually do like, but I was a little nervous that he'd just play the theme song and that's it. But nope, he's got some a little bit, a hint of some of the soundtrack in the background. He's got the chain rattling sounds, which, oh, I love those. I, I, I've always loved that in the movie. I thought it was so creepy how you can hear his chains and bells jingling as he walks. So I'm so glad they added that. And he's got some growling. And my favorite part about the audio is the howling. The howling has... Oh, that whole scene where Krampus... I'm not going to spoil too much if you haven't seen the movie. But where Krampus is jumping from roof, rooftop to rooftop near the beginning of the movie. And he's howling and you can hear his howls like echoing through the night. That's always been one of my favorite scenes from the movie. Just because I think his howling is so creepy. Oh, I'm so happy they included it in the prop. This guy is retailing for $349.99, which is one of the most expensive props uh, ever sold in stores. Alongside Arctic Dragon, who was the same price. And though I love Arctic Dragon, and he was my favorite prop of 2019, and he is one of my favorite props of all time, I will say that. Um, though I love Arctic Dragon, I will not sugarcoat it. And I will say that Arctic Dragon was overpriced by about $100. I believe Arctic Dragon should have been 250, not 350. But for Krampus, I believe that 350 is a perfectly fine price for Krampus because of all that you're getting. All his detail is just phenomenal. He truly looks like he could pass off as a professional prop. He looks straight out of the movie. Though he's only a side-to-side -side turner, he looks enormous. And he's officially licensed. So I think 350 is a fair price. And I also want to mention my local store is opening sometime on or before August 8th. And so, Krampus, if you haven't checked his pre-order date, ships August 12th. 12th? What am I saying? So, he's gonna, he's gonna be um, an early shipment, a super early shipment. He's gonna be an opening day prop. So, am I getting this guy? 100% and I'm getting him on opening day. So, there you go. Uh, you'll see a review on my channel in about a week or two of him, which is really cool and crazy to think that I'm going to own this guy in like a week or two. Now, I'm obviously not using him in my haunt because it's a laboratory theme, but I do plan to use him on Halloween night. I plan to put him up on my roof 
and then possibly get mommy's favorite and have her looking up at him. I think that looks super cool, and I love this guy. He's one of the greatest Halloween props of all time, in my opinion, already. Uh, not the greatest, as Forrest Demon still takes that spot, but he's definitely close, and he might take that spot. Let me know what you think in the comments below of Krampus. I think this is a stellar animatronic, one of the greatest ever. And I hope you all enjoyed this sneak peek video. Keep howling at the moon, my werewolves.